Like your fingerprints, your DNA is different from everyone else. Because of advances in genetic, DNA evidence can show many things, such as family relationships. Hi, and welcome back. In today's science episode, I will talk about advances in genetics. Advances in Genetics Genetic techniques have enabled people to produce organisms with desirable traits. Selective breeding, cloning, and genetic engineering are three methods for developing organisms with desirable traits. So, in this video, we're going to analyze the following genetic techniques. Selective breeding, and we have these categories, inbreeding and hybridization cloning and genetic engineering. Let's start with selective breeding. The process of selecting organisms with desired traits to be parents of the next generation is called selective breeding. Thousands of years ago, in what is now Mexico, the food that we call corn was developed in this way. Every year, farmers save seeds from the healthiest plants that produce the best food. So, this will represent the first type of corn that we have and tends to selective breeding when they having a corn like the ones we eat now. In the spring, they planted those seeds. By repeating this process over and over, farmers develop plants that produce better corn. People have used selective breeding with many different plants and animals. Two selective breeding techniques are inbreeding and hybridization. Inbreeding the technique of inbreeding involves crossing two individuals that have similar characteristics. For example, suppose a male and a female turkey are both plump and grow quickly. Their offspring will probably also have those desirable traits. Qualities Inbreed organisms have alleles that are very similar to those of their parents. Inbreed organisms are genetically very similar. Therefore, inbreeding increases the probability that organisms may inherit alleles that lead to genetic disorders. For example, inherited hip problems are common in many breeds of dogs. Hybridization In hybridization, breeders cross two genetically different individuals. And that's the difference with inbreeding, that they are similar. In this case, they have to be different, genetically different. The hybrid organism that result is bred to have the best traits from both parents. For example, a farmer might cross corn that produces many kernels with corn that is resistant to disease. The result might be a hybrid corn plant with both of the desired traits. And in this picture, you have an example of the Macintosh and Red Delicious Apples. So you have a Macintosh and a Red Delicious Apple. They were combined by hybridization and they formed the Empire Apple. Cloning A clone is an organism that has exactly the same genes as the organism from which it was produced. It isn't hard to clone some kinds of plants, such as an African violet, like the one in the photograph. Just cut a stem from one plant and put them in soil. Water it and soon you will have a whole new plant. The new plant is genetically identical to the plant from which the stem was cut. Researchers have also cloned animals such as sheep and pigs. The methods for cloning these animals are complex. They involve taking the nucleus of an animal's body cell and using that nucleus to produce a new animal. Genetic engineering In this process called genetic engineering, genes from one organism are transferred into the DNA of another organism. Genetic engineering can produce medicines and improve food crops. Genetic engineering in bacteria 1 type of genetically engineered bacteria produces a protein called insulin. 
Injections of insulin are needed by many people with diabetes. Bacteria have a single DNA molecule in the cytoplasm. Some bacterial cells also contain small circular pieces of DNA called plasmids. So, the following illustration explains how is this complex process. Basically, they inject plasmids DNA to the bacterium DNA. And with this process, they can produce human insulin. Genetic engineering in other organisms. Scientists can also use genetic engineering techniques to insert genes into animals. For example, human genes can be inserted into the cells of the cows. The cows then produce a human protein from which the gene codes in their milk. Scientists have used this technique to produce the blood cloning protein needed by people with hemophilia. Genes have also been inserted into the cells of plants, such as tomatoes and rice. Some of the genes enable the plants to survive in cold temperatures or in poor soil. Other genetically, engineering crops can resist insect pests. Gene therapy. Someday, it may be possible to use genetic engineering to correct some genetic disorders in humans. This process, called gene therapy, will involve inserting copies of a gene directly into a person's cell. For example, doctors may be able to treat hemophilia by replacing the defective allele on the X chromosome. The person's blood would then clot normally. Concerns about genetic engineering some people are concerned about the long-term effects of genetic engineering. For example, some people think that genetically engineered crops may not be entirely safe. People fear that those crops may harm the environment or cause health problems in humans. To other such concerns, scientists are trying to learn more about the effects of genetic engineering. Human Genome Project a genome is all the DNA in one cell of an organism. The main goal of a project called the Human Genome Project has been to identify the DNA sequence of every gene in the human genome. Scientists have learned that the DNA of humans has at least 30,000 genes. The average gene has about 3,000 bases. Scientists now know the DNA sequence of nearly every human gene. DNA fingerprinting. DNA technology can also identify people and show whether people are related. Nuclear DNA from a person's cells is broken down into small pieces or fragments. Selected fragments are used to produce a pattern called a DNA fingerprint. Except for identical twins, no two people have exactly the same DNA fingerprint. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and until the next one, bye.